definitely don't have much job security uh, in this work, but who needs security when you're doing something you're excited about? Our social entrepreneurs are people who have been on the front lines of social change. I've learned so much from talking with them. This is Cafe Impact, and I'm Jonathan Lewis. You've had this checkered career. Art school, high school dropout, teacher in China, get an MBA. You've also worked as uh, the first employee of the Perry Foundation and its yeah. lead program officer. What are the non-negotiable skills that people need in social change work? Our field is so nascent that you absolutely have to be comfortable with ambiguity. I think as young people look at their careers in any field, but I think especially in social change, that thinking about the time horizon of a given job is going to be increasingly important. It used to be that you might join an organization or start an organization and stay with it for 30 years. But now I think we need a more dynamic way of thinking about our careers, careers as chunks of activity that cross sectoral lines, that address a problem in a concrete way, sometimes starting an organization and then closing it down because that's actually a victory. What are the essential skills you are looking for in a new hire? Really, really being open to learning. The willingness to be open and not to go, well, here's what I know or here's what I've been taught, but wanting to explore, to push the boundaries, to ask questions, to not just, and not in a, an arrogant way, not in a complacent way, not in an entitled way. Anyone who's the expert has the most baggage and has a point of view that they have to transcend before they are open to learning anything. When I'm interviewing senior staff, two of the questions pertinent to this are, what magazines do you subscribe to? Mm -hmm. And what books are you reading right now? And you can learn a lot from people based on that. Mm -hmm. if, if they don't subscribe to any magazines and they don't read any books, you can tell right away that this is a person who has difficulty getting intellectually engaged. It's not that it, there's a particular reading list that you have to master in order to be you know, educated. It's just that there's so, so many incredible things happening intellectually in the world that if you're not aware of, say, you know, the latest developments in behavioral economics, it's really hard to understand how people are thinking and talking about the way the world works. You're rarely going to have somebody come up to you and say, okay, this is exactly what I want you to do, and this is how I expect the results to come out, and this is how you'll know you've achieved success. That just doesn't happen in the real world, and especially not in social innovation. Nobody's going to tell you everything because they don't no. know either. No, we're making it up, essentially. We're all making it up and hopefully we're all smart enough and self-aware enough that we're learning from our mistakes as we go. Coming out of college, I thought that I was the smartest guy ever. And I came into an operation that basically had been running smoothly, but I thought that I needed to do all these things to get a raise. I went into my first review and I hammered. Not even one question was asked by my boss. And I just went into it. Look at what we've done, this is what we've accomplished. And at the end of it, he just looks at me and he said, you know what? If you keep your head down, you do your job, the money will come, the recognition will come. Just do your job.